voters in Colorado could decide the future of psychedelics this November. At least one initiative to decriminalize and regulate them statewide is already on the ballot, and Colorado researchers now are trying to get a better idea of psychedelics use in Colorado. Denver 7's Rob Harris with that report. It may not be the spot you'd expect research on psychedelic use to start, but a CSE researcher chose Reddit for two very important reasons. Number one, it lets her reach a lot of people from different walks of life. And number two, it allows them to stay anonymous. Now that's important because even though some communities across the country have decriminalized psychedelic use, it's still illegal federally. So doing it over the internet allows her subjects to be anonymous and therefore be honest in their answers. And she's hoping that's beneficial, not only to researchers and leaders, but even maybe to voters this November. There is a lot of emerging and exciting research about psilocybin. So my survey is essentially gathering data about how psilocybin is being used in the real world right now. Bethany Gray is a graduate student in the Counseling Psychology Doctoral Program at Colorado State University. She says she has no agenda and is neutral regarding Colorado's upcoming ballot initiatives and decriminalization votes. But... She says there is growing evidence that psychedelics, like psilocybin, can have broad benefits. There is emerging evidence that psilocybin can be used for medicinal purposes, so for like headaches and cluster headache, can help with things like treatment-resistant depression, generalized anxiety disorder, substance use disorders, um, and eating disorders. In-depth clinical studies on psychedelic use has been hard to pursue in the United States, starting with their criminalization through the war on drugs. That is changing, though. Laws in this country are changing very quickly, and people are reporting less negative associations. Almost one in 10 U.S. adults have tried psilocybin at least once in their life. I don't think that we know confidently for sure whether psilocybin use or psychedelic use in general is a net negative or a net positive. Um, but my study is aiming to find out a little bit more about that. More than 1,100 people have filled out this survey so far, and Gray is hoping for up to 2,500 before she shares her complete findings. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris.